now if you ask me, the German government should really step in and say, it's not going to happen here. We don't like it, and back to Turkey, but it won't happen here. The German government will say, why? I don't see anything about it. So it, so it looks like to me, like, like, and the thing is, it cannot be a guilt trip in the World War II because this is supposed to be the Muslims. These days, there's nothing in the Jews, Jewish people misbehaving. It is the Muslims that cause all the problems. And I'm asking you, because why do you, wait, 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 I want to say one more thing. It's funny that, that my grandfather's hyphen name is Nacke, which is the Prussian of German. Well, so maybe there's some Germanic blood in my in me too. So again, that's nothing with, but I don't understand one thing. Why German people are real Europeans, okay, which I consider yourself and myself, do not Yes, but I'm speaking about the real Europeans. And I would distinguish because I know that Germany right now there's a new term like black German. There's no such thing as black German okay. If I'll be born in Japan if I would say I'm Japanese, you would laugh at me. Are we not okay. homophobic? Doesn't matter what we are homophobic or not. African or Asian or European, that is a, 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 a last century business. We are all people, no, not I think. One by one. If you are racist, you have no, no chance. One by one. one. By one. No chance for you. Between good foreigners and bad foreigners. Well, I don't mean that. Yeah, I don't mean that. I mean, what, what, what I mean by it is that the German government permits... We are African people to the whole world. That's the whole yeah, world. Sure. Yeah. But it's us because we've been badly treated. This grew our land. We were uh, under colonies. We were not sure we didn't have chance to promote or to get a good education until today we want to be free from religion. Fuck in America and those what people who, who they who they want to keep. Oh, no, no, no. Because the you are the one who's selling religion to my people. You are the one who's standing for religion to screw nations and to take everything for you. Who is? Yeah, you not you in particular. No, it's not you in particular. I'm talking about the people in charge of this planet, one of them is France, uh, uh, USA. Uh, no, no, no. Don't be racist. I will accept your racism. Yeah. Yeah. I will accept your racism. He even he himself said no, that no. German should make German, French should no make German, French. Should make German, French should no make racism. Make French. We're and all from the planet Earth, my friend. There's a right. specific order which yeah. and in the societies where and having the uh, having a, <laughs> preserving. I want to touch that. <laughs> It's a good thing. So I'm asking you. I'm not seeing what's happening in Germany. Okay, and I'm asking you. Are you is, is, is this what German society wants? Yes. There is one reason, no justification. Problem is that Germany has 16 states in it, and all, all of them are behaving totally different. Bavaria, for example, is more conservative. Um, and Berlin, for example, tries to be more open to to be told what's happening. That's due to ethnic composition. It's not because they're more tolerant. It's because ethnic composition Berlin's a tiny place. No, no, no religion, no racism. Turkish people no religion, no racism. This guy is from Poland. It's all of shit. He's talking shit. Honestly. All right, which part is racist? Uh, Europe. No. Because he, no, no, one is no one is We're talking about this lady, she said about this society here. We are home, oh, home. we are, uh, well, we are, uh, what they call it, uh, homo sapiens. We are all homo sapiens living in this fucking planet. We started about 200,000 years ago. Yeah? Don't give me this bullshit. We are now, if you're thinking you are superior or strong, you've got a role. Because no, no. So if Poland, uh, it was a small, tiny country, uh, Russia invaded you so many times. But the other European, they did come to my land, and they did took a, and they took a lot from my land. Okay, I'm a Moroccan. I was under under colonialism from from all over Europe. My listen, country. listen, no, listen. So we are entitled to have. The, the, to live everywhere and enjoy life everywhere. Where I have more welcome to speakers corner. Listen now. I said welcome to speakers corner. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Listen. 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 listen, listen to the answer. Listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. Yeah. What, I, what I wanted to say is, I'm always feeling.
welcome in this country. Wherever I go, wherever, if I go to the South Coast, or I go to, or hopefully once in a while, I go to Scotland, or I have even Wales, or somewhere else. In Germany, you have a little problem. Or East Germany, the more problem it is, or not looking pure. This one's not a map. But that also has something to do with our history because the war is divided by I hope you will make money. I hope you will have a lot of viewers to make some money. But, but I, I mean, I am a Moroccan. I live in Morocco. I live in Morocco. I am here. I am here. I love this country. I know this country really well. I've spent so years. You're okay. But me, you're I live in my country, and I am happy. My country is a, is a, is a, the, the heaven in this world. Yes. Yes. If you're happy with it. You're okay. You want that. Yes, and you go. Yes, I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay. Would you respect? Would you respect if Poland wants to not to be multi-ethnic? And the two, they just want Poland for the Polish people. So yes, you look European with white skin and black skin. Not only I have a question: Would you, would you respect that the wish of the majority of Polish people is not to be multi-ethnic? The problem, the problem is if you don't want to be multi-ethnic, yes. if, if you neglect it to be a natural, natural state, why then taking money from the EU? They shouldn't. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I mean, my way, what is one thing to do with another? One has one thing to do with another. How did you make a connection between imposing multi ethical society to get money? Is this some kind of right? If you want this money, you have to get a Muslim migrant. Where did you get that connection? If that's what you did. Where did you get it from? So it's not okay for Polish people just to remain white. To take something from a from a union from the European Union who is standing for migration and the right for asylum, if you also do your part, but to say no, we never want to want to have someone in our country who is not Polish or something like that. So I'm, I'm feeling okay. Two million I'm Ukrainians did exactly. end up in Poland. Exactly. They Two certainly million. played yeah. their part. First safe country. I was working First with a lot country. of Ukrainians. I was a registrar. Okay. I was working with them. I was filling in their birth certificates, their marriages, right. and their death certificates. Okay. And they were the most friendly and the e most easy to handle people I've ever worked with. Okay. That was absolutely fine. So let me ask you something. Here's my question. You know, during the Merkel administration, oh, yeah. Yeah, when, when the family of European nations, they say we all have common keys to one house. Suddenly Merkel decides to let a few million of refugees in without, without any consent, or neither of the German people, or hold on, let's say yeah, yeah, neither of the German people or other European nations. My question is, what is that is that is done in accordance with German constitution, which is done, that she has the right just to open up to anyone she wishes. That's one. And two, on what grounds right now, Germany says, no, uh, says uh, along with others, they're going to distribute forcibly migrants around Europe. On what grounds? Where is the dictatorship saying, no, you have to take it? It is my house, my house. We agree to have the keys to each other's house. You can go live in Poland, I can go live in Germany. And you usually know, there's no friction. With a, with a lot of things, I'm, not, I'm absolutely not in common with her politics. She's from the Christian Union and I'm a social democrat. All right. And I think it was absolutely, it was, it was right to let immigrants in. But, but, there were no, um, there were no basics to let them in. Some were not registered, there were not a lot, there, there, were, not, there were not enough immigration courses, there were not enough language courses, and people who did their work of honor to help the people, they were left alone at one point. And how do German people feel when then, let's call them for a moment, native Germans have been victims of assault, rape, 
murder and all that crimes committed by the people who came because of exactly the reasons you're talking about. Yeah. Who is, no wait, wait, my question is, who is responsible for the crimes committed by those migrants upon the, no, no, it's the individual, it's somebody let them in. Um, you, you Who holds the responsibility for it? Your view is very, um, you make um, classes of people. You do the people as, see the people as people. They are responsible for themselves. For example, when you talk about multiculturalism, I think it's kind of, um, I work with someone in my office who is a daughter of immigrants from Turkey 50 years ago. She's older than me, she's longer in Germany than me. Okay. And she is integrated. She does not want Islamic uh, rule or something like that. She actually um, dislikes um, Islamists because she wants to live her Islam in its good. And most people that came in the 70s or so are far away from the picture you paint of Muslims. And they are integrated and they are Germans. Yes, they are Germans. Even if they have the statement, they live in Germany, they work in Germany, they pay taxes in Germany. And I see no reason for discriminating them from Germans. It's because they act like Germans. They are, live in Germany and they are acting like Germans and they respect Germans. There should be. What you do is, there are immigrants that do not do that and all not Germans. And that's your mistake. No, no, they say not. First of all, first of all, I lived in a, in a new world for too long and I, and I experienced the world long enough to understand one thing. Only because somebody's born somewhere doesn't mean it's of it. Let me finish. I heard you. I heard you. First of all, if you know Islam as a religion is a direct contradiction to Christianity. So it's a blasphemous religion. She's smiling. That's typical. That's typical. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. That's a typical reflection. Oh, it's just the religion. No, no, no. I'm trying to show some. Germany is a Christian country. It was uh, no. the Christian. No, so it's a no, I'm sorry. No. Not anymore. It's a secular. Not oh. anymore. There are a lot of people step out of the church. I know. I know. Germany is, I know. is now a country more than atheists than people. In the exactly. Church. Exactly. And, and, and mind you, let me let me tell you something because I follow the German events regarding the Christianity. Many Germans have been offended because of the crimes committed by the people who run the churches. They were so, let me finish. They were so disgusted, they just left the church. Except when the soccer or football cultures do the same thing, or gymnasts or swimmers and so on, I don't see German people getting offended and saying from now on, I'm not gonna watch the football. In fact, let's have a Euro championship, even let's say uh, probably 80% or 70% of those uh, of the coaches, just as pedophiles, as, as, as I would describe how, how Germans got offended about some priests that were doing some criminal stuff. What I'm seeing is um, hypocrisy. What I'm seeing continues from German government is having a blind eye to reality. The reality is that education, something that Germany was always so good, was so good at, pretends now does not exist. As I said, Anyone who is educated about religious matters knows very well that Islam stands in direct contradiction to Christianity. Now, regards to what you say is the truth. And if Germany, for example, German scholars would say, actually, that's true. Yes. One Someone religion says Germany. this, another one says opposite. At least they'll be honest. There's no honesty. You say, oh, she's not <laughs> She just doesn't like those people who are uh, actually, extremists. Actually, Germany is Just a little greeting. Hello Democracy, from Germany. Hello, and welcome. Rule of law and social state. No Christianity. Rule of principle for the state. Rule of law is the most. Uh, the law is based on the Christian of compassion so and balance. The whole has the origin of Christianity. The second. Uh, you said that Islam is not compatible with democracy. Um, actually, I remember that Locke said that Catholics would never ever be able to live in Britain because they do not accept the state, they do not accept uh, their fellow Christians because that's Christians. not correct. No, if you know the I'm, writings, I'm sure. in, fact, in fact, the writings of St. Paul, it says, pray for your leaders. Yeah, he says, Political readers. <laughs> so you're wrong about that. Right? Ah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what the gospel says. Like the Catholics, the Catholics, Catholics revere as, as a holy word. It stays right there. It's, 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 it's St. Peter. The letters to St. Peter says, 
pray for your leaders, for your politicians. So what you're saying is not correct. Not and it's like in Islamic state, well, and it says other videos, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, when I go to the subway in Warsaw, and I'm from Warsaw, which was by the level to the ground as you know it, now we go to Warsaw, subway in Warsaw, it's super clean, it's safe and everything else. I know what's happening in Berlin, and you know what's happening in Berlin, but of course you're muzzled, you're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say when you see when only when you see the Muslims going out of control. You're not allowed to say when the public blocks streets to make the prayers. You talk about what's a secular country, secular country? Why do you permit public prayers? They block the street and put their ass up and, and make the prayers. How is that secular country, you tell me? Because we have something that is called a basic law. It is called our Grundgesetz. And that me and that says Everyone has the right to practice, to practice religion. That's actually against the law to blockade a street for praying. And they do it. Yet they are... They uh, do it. What are you going to tell me? Just in Paris. We've been driving to Paris many times. I cannot believe what happened to Paris between the early 90s and now. Too far, they can't hear. Oh, I'm actually, I've never sorry. heard of it. There's no mind. I'm sorry. I'm really, I understand. I'm, Go on sorry. YouTube. I'm, I'm Go on YouTube. To, I'm up to the news every day in Germany because I'm politically as active as well. So I'm not just a member of the, of the party. I'm also active as well. And never. I have seen in the quarters like Neukölln or so where many Muslims live or a wedding uh, it is a, it is a part of, of Berlin Central that people block streets for prayers. Go on YouTube and you find it. There, is a, there was a demonstration in Hamburg. What? Was it in Hamburg? Maybe. There was a demonstration yeah. in Maybe Hamburg. Hamburg. They uh, protested for the Caliphate. Germany. Yeah. They, pro they protested for the Caliphate. It was a very small also, demonstration, 200 people. And uh, the most effect they had over YouTube. Because people say, oh, all in Germany are like that. Also. It's uh, rubbish. And uh, we had a long discussion in Germany actually if it's possible to say we want the Caliphate because we know it's against the federal law. But in Germany, we are allowed to um, say things against federal law and what another state and federal law prescribes. You just don't have to. Um, we have a lot of conditions. The federal court said um, you can say anything you want, but as soon as it is um, clearly not your only your intention, but you have the means to, then it is forbidden. And yes, it is discussed if, whether this um, is actually it was made, made um, in the 60s because of a, of a right, far right party. They said. They are so unimportant, they can say what they want, we don't forbid them. And that still holds. Of course you can ask, is it clever to do it these times too? But um, Germany is very liberal in that sense, and you can demonstrate. Germany is liberal? You think? You can can you burn a Quran in Germany? Um, can you say, can you say Muhammad is, is a pedophile, for example? It is not, it is not forbidden. Not forbidden. What would happen to, to a citizen if they were doing it in Berlin? There are two things um, that you don't differ. The thing that states are lost and the things um, that other people are not allowed. And of course you can burn it. Although I would not say it is a good move to burn a Quran in Germany. Um, it's a freedom of expression. You don't have to give your opinion about it. As long as um, in Germany the rule is you should not do anything that incites the public. No, and it's, very, no it's not about inciting, it's about freedom of expression. I don't care, for example, what somebody thinks. If I want to burn Quran, I would do it. If someone burns the Bible, would it bother you? It wouldn't bother me at all. Really, it wouldn't sorry, bother me at all. Burning a Quran is the most offensive thing you How can do. You, you can Who do are you to mosque? decide what's offensive? Is now? I do have I a question. Worked, That's a question I, of, I worked in a mosque of, six years. So what? That means nothing. But one one question I nothing. genuinely have. Okay, I don't share many of this guy's views, but. One question I genuinely have is, why is it, certainly in the UK, and I presume in Germany as well, that you can say what you like about Christianity? You can say the most offensive things and no one bats an eyelid. But if you say something offensive about a certain other religion, it then becomes a big problem. Actually, um, you say many things about Islam that uh, is offensive, like um, they are raping our women, they are violating our men, and uh, all I'm not saying that. And yeah, 
But that, that's the thing you hear about the Tsar in Germany, and no one says you are not allowed to say it. Well, Germany is famous for saying every time a, a, a person of Islamic religion rapes somebody, oh, he's mentally ill. Always. I personally believe. I personally believe. I personally believe. If you're going to rape someone, you probably are mentally ill. The point is that when it happens, when it happens with Muslims, they're right away to ill. I don't see somebody else does it. Nobody does anything. Nobody here said that. Nobody says that. The Christian would do what they would just say. Oh, this guy's name. He is doing the speech, not me. The Muslim would do what he's doing. Mentally ill. It's related to all over in the news. And something else I want to ask you, based on what you were saying earlier about where you're born doesn't make you who you, who you are or whatever, right? I was so, born in Japan. I was born Japan. here. I have full Polish citizenship. Japan. Am I Polish? If you're born here, yeah. Possible. But I have full Polish citizenship with a Polish passport. I can't speak the language though. Again, again, that's my. I'm trying to make a point here. My point is this. Race and religion. My, my point is this. And I was trying to make it easier for you to understand. If I would be born in Japan and I would say I'm Japanese, you would laugh at me because you would say. But I was born I'm here Japanese. and I can say I'm Polish. So you're going to laugh at me for I'm Japanese to you? Uh, no, okay. okay, okay, yeah, a little bit short. Sure. Yeah. What that's I'm saying my, is, I was born here, but I'm legally Polish. So okay. if I say so I'm you Polish, does that citizenship. sound stupid? So, no, no. So you have dual citizenship, which is fine. There are two things. One, uh, one, uh, one citizenship you feel, and one citizenship you have. Is that Israel? No, I'm sorry, you that's not so. Do you, have your, do you have one percent Jewish? Yeah, Israeli. What? I'm sorry. Like in, in Israel, everyone's claiming to be Israeli. Israeli? What has yeah, that like, he can, with? He can claim to be Israeli because he's Polish. Because they all came from there. And you, you can claim to be Israeli as well. Me? Yeah, living on stolen land. She's German. Exactly. I'm you German. Can, yeah, you can claim. Your husband, your people, I'm, man. I'm German, but I have. But this is not the only nationality. Yes. What is what is what is beating inside me? My, my half sister okay, is. Say the, something in German. What? Say something in German. A long sentence. A long sentence. Ich freue mich heute hier zu sein. Das ist ein schönes Wetter. He said, yeah, it sounds like I'm in a porno movie and walks off. I know. German is a very lovely language. It's hard to learn, but yeah, it's a very... Deutsch. Yeah. What's <laughs> macht der man? My Deutsch is nicht gut. What's macht der man? What? My Polish is What's not good either. What's macht der man? What? I know maybe 500 words in Polish, but I can't make a conversation with you in Polish. Oh, that's a shame. I love, I love, I love one of your sweets. Tasia Mlechko. Yes, this one is delicious. I really like it. But His mouth is watery. You know, I have the German citizenship, but there are more than one citizenship. I just want Polish donuts again. Beating in my, beating my heart. <laughs> my half sister is Philippine and German. She was born in the Philippines. Now she is there at the moment. And also I have a deep love for Egyptian people. Because Egyptians are very lovely and they are very friendly people. I've been there. Everybody's very friendly. Yeah. When I speak those things, I don't mean it. I don't mean it to do I said I have a deep love for Uzbeks, Uzbekistani people. Uh, Uzbeks. Because of their food. <laughs> They're lovely as well. Huh? No. Their food. Their food is amazing. The people are lovely as well. I spent uh, 15 days there back in April. Amazing country. Yeah. Okay. So, what's Islamic the conclusion country. here? What is the conclusion? The, the, con the conclusion is that I'm very glad that I could speak here after ten after ten years again because I was here ten years before. And there, I made my first speech. This is my second one today. Oh, well done. And I'm very very happy for the conversation and for the discussion of for you with you guys. Even if we are not having one opinion, <laughs> we had a or we have a very beautiful conversation because it doesn't have to be the end. We still have 20 minutes to talk. Right. Now, I'd like to say something. Yes, please. And I, was not, I didn't mean a, one has to be objective. Yes. And an objective people can see how certain cities deteriorate because of certain migration going in. And that's undeniable. If, unless you pretend not to I see it. Said, I never said that our migration was, was perfect. I said that we are... I, I didn't make my point yet. My point is this. I believe that German people should be asked, would you like migration from the Islamic world 
and to Germany. People of Germany should be asked, the same people of France, hold on, let me finish. People of France should be asked, there should be some question, there should be direct democracy. Do German people wish to be a multi-ethnic society or they wish to remain That's German in, Very in good their identity? That should be posed to the German people. Not your MPs or politicians. No, That's a no, very no, good no. Question. I know, I know, I know what I know what he means. He mean, he mean, he means some, something like a general vote. Like Swiss. Like Swiss. Yes, yes. The Swiss. I I really envy the Swiss people to have this direct dialogue democracy. This is really lovely, even if they are making a assembly on a field to to do to do anything with voting. That's really that's really a fun, fantastic. No. What I want, what I want to say is, I'm absolutely. I have to remember you that we have a basic right for asylum. We have a basic right in our constitution. We call it Grundgesetz for asylum, and that means everyone who claims to have, a, who want to be, who want to have asylum, must make an act, must make an action to the authorities, to the administrations. Are you talking about international and, and law, right? And there is no difference between people from Christian countries or Muslim countries or some or something well, well, else. Actually, by international law, you should probably know that very well, that it is the first safe country that should receive refugees. First safe country. For Syria, first safe country is Turkey. It's not a choice being Luxembourg, Austria, or Germany. Turkey is the first safe country. So from that point of view, Germany perverts perverts course of justice because because enables other migrants to come in and break the law because they're choosing. Some of them want to go to Austria, I don't want to go to Swiss, and so on. No, first safe country for Ukraine. First safe country was Poland. Now, if Poland would be in trouble, they could ask Germany, Czech Republic, or Swiss, or the French would be in trouble, Dutch, they can ask for asylum in Germany. Otherwise, it's the first, that's international law. But you know, now the, the, the government of Poland has changed, right? I know that. From really conservative to moderate. Yes, so I know that. Before, before, when, before when we had the... This, uh, this, part, this party of uh, Kaczynski, yeah. it was really strict. It was absolutely um, not friendly to, to not friendly to foreigners. Absolutely not. But now with Tusk, Donald Tusk, or Tusk, uh, it is it is much it is much better because a lot of people just when they fled from Ukraine, they fled through Poland because right. a lot of a lot of times they were not accepted. As they were gay or lesbian or LGBT, LGBTQIA plus people, yeah. that was that was the problem. But in Germany, everyone has the right to to um, to, to have a will for asylum, and there we make no difference between Islamic countries or Christian countries or some or something like that. It wouldn't make any difference in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, is, UEA would take most of these refugees. None of them did. And what you're saying is true. Those states are extremely wealthy, they have toilets made of gold, they could easily accommodate all those refugees, build them beautiful homes and wait for, uh, for better times. You know very well that the, the direction of migration, it never goes towards, when you say there's no difference, there's a huge difference. It is the, it is the, it is the tolerant Europe that, bring, that allows refugees to come in and uh, intolerant Islamic countries do not let a single uh, Muslim in. Proof, Egypt, the Egyptian border with Palestine, with the Gaza is a perfect example. It's sealed off, no one can in, can go in, no one can go out. And you probably know it. Uh, and you spoke I, about how I beautiful, met, G, met, how met, nice met, Egyptians are. Met, Not to I the met, Palestinians. I, I met, as a very open and very friendly and very friendly country. But not to the Palestinians. They're, oh yeah, because they, they don't they don't because. want they don't to be they don't want to be caught in in this war between Israel and Is, Israel and Palestine. They don't want to be caught in Hamas, excuse, not Palestine. So that's Hamas. the excuse Hamas. that you're Hamas, giving. Hamas, Only because they don't want to be caught up. So they say, screw you Palestinians, go to Europe. They don't want 
Come on, that's for logic. They Where's the logic? They, 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 they just want to have the peaceful. They just want to have the peaceful life. They don't want to be a colonizer. They don't want any politics. It's not that he doesn't exist. Don't have you suggest becoming like the Qatar? No. When I suggest, how about following international law? If there's a signatory, yeah. if there's a signatory in international law, it clearly states it's the first safe country that refugees should go in. That should be so, not because Merkel says, "Oh yeah, come on in," because because she feels like it. And it was Obama who forced her to do it anyway. Go in 2015, the Turkish expelled um, the refugees, mm. and you have refugees at the border. Between borders, what do you do? You say go back to Turkey. Turkey doesn't want them. What do you do? You mean Turkey doesn't want them? Turkey, Turkey has many, many treaties with the EU, and you know it. In case they would want to do it, sanctions, especially since Germany is a big player in the EU. Right away, Germany should show the the the, 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 actually the role of the leader and say that the law is the law. And should force Turkey to accept the Syrian refugees. That's it. And, this is that the and what did Germany do? Right. On that note, excuse me, I think you are going to give us a bargain because they had. Anyway, thank you very much. You continue. I think this yes. crowd is going to take over. Thanks very much for your time. It's been very nice. It has been a pleasure. For you. Indeed, likewise. And it thank you. It's been a very nice discussion. It was a bit, it was when are you a coming next? What? In 10 years' time, huh? I don't know. I, do, I don't know exactly. I just wanted to show my better half how I lived, where I lived, and what I, what I did. And uh, after such long years of yes. time. Welcome back. Thank yeah. you. I'm always, I'm always happy to be here. Always. The Speaker's Corner also love to see you next time when you come. I'm honored. Big nose of London. Thank you. Have a peaceful day. Yes, you too. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> You still here? That feels nice. Yeah, and that's what they do every week. You didn't go because you thought you would lose lose your audience to me. That's why you didn't go. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't he didn't leave the park. You see, he was planning to go street mark because he knew he would lose his audience to me that's why he didn't leave street mark that's in Arabic anyway I'm not